what we're doing here is we're going on an adventure because I tell you, there is some great geophysics to be done today. We were looking at three of the castles around Galway city. Three wonderful archaeological architectural sites. Our focus is on preserving that his authentic historic fabric. And there's a set of principles to the, the Borough Charter, which is kind of an international charter. The principle is to do as little as possible, but as much as is necessary, trying to get that balance right. There's a balance in nature, there's a balance in architecture, there's a balance in everything. So we're trying to make sure that the built and the, cult the cultural and the natural heritage are all dealt with at the same time. The three locations are here at Menlo Castle, right beside the River Corrib, over at Terryland Castle, also beside the beautiful River Corrib. Terryland, uh, it's also known as Old Castle. And the third one then is in the middle of Merlin Woods, Merlin Park Castle, or Dowishka Castle. We are here uh, like 12 months ago, and we're kind of wandering around inside and around the base. But now is our first opportunity with the scaffold to see the structure close up. The aim is to work on conserving and making accessible these three beautiful, wonderful castles. Well, what we're doing really is that we're just marvelling at, uh, at what a gem uh, this castle is. The last person who was up there might have been a hundred years ago. But this is the first phase. The first phase uh, is, you know, seeing it um, conserved, uh, seeing it, stopping it from any further decay. Uh, it's in good shape. It's in good shape considering the roof has been taken off it uh, somewhere in the uh, 1650s. Um, it, it is in really, really good shape. Everything isn't quite what it seems. So when you start to unpick things or you try to repair things, you find things are better or worse uh, than, you'd, than you'd hoped. The wall continued, the wall plate was, I think we'll discover it when all the grass is removed, it, it, it literally was just the wall coming straight up and then the wall and plate. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really beautiful detail, yeah. And, and you see the little nick in the stone below as well. So it, the water, it drained down the top That's stone. Oh. And it got, and, and, and this, see how this, see how this stone under the kneeler is shaped as well, so yeah. to throw the water back that to this little po design. pocket here and then it came down onto this stone and then out of this tiny little hole here. So here was your, your original medieval gutter system. After um, 600 years, it's still perfectly intact um, and in really good shape. So we're noticing all these things that we were speculating about. And today was great to have the, the whole design team together with um, the structural engineer, and ourselves and the stonemason and the main contractor. So we're kind of working as a project team together to try and firm up on all those decisions that we kind of said we let, we'd leave it till the scaffold is in place. So it's quite an intense first day when we're here first and we've got a lot here from today that we're going to take through the project. All rubble, except dark, for dark, dark, except dark, for the gargoyle at the base. Dark, 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 no, the gargoyle is I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it's going to be yeah. before I make it. Yeah. Gargoyle, rubble stone. Um, um, and that's the intervention um, then that they can see. I'm nearly sure there was another floor on top and from there um, you, they walked through here and down the steps into that little window. <laughs> How is that? We have the benefit of um, uh, 
having members of the uh, Master Masons the, from the French uh, Companions Guild, where one of them would work with us each year, and there was a big emphasis on, on passing on skills and upskilling everyone. And, um, and I suppose the, 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 those that remain are the ones that enjoy working with stone most and it's a well-oiled team that enjoys the work and is enthusiastic about it and we're delighted to be working on Tyrellin Castle and Merlin Castle. Sixteen years ago I came from, from Poland. It's good for the brain because every time when you do, you create something new. Even you know, you do the same window or the same, but it looks the same, but every, every time it's different, you know. It's a different place, you know, you have to, you know, manipulate a little. <laughs> you have to be a little bigger here, a little smaller here. So all of them, they are a little different. Now with more, more technology, but the main thing is exactly the same, you know. buildings are very tall, the castles are huge, <laughs> uh, and it's only when you're up on the, the eighth level of the scaffolding that you realise just how, how large they are, uh, and the views are amazing. While we were doing the dusk and dawn survey at Merlin Castle, we came across a swift nest. Swifts will nest at any nest location uh, year after year, so again, we, we thought it was important to maintain that nest area. Two little crevices here, that uh, Aoife, the ecologist, confirmed that was a live nest of swifts. We just highlighted this around in chalk so that when the uh, masons come along to do the repointing, that they will not fill them crevices. And that's very important that they're left open for the swifts. How it was built, why was it built, and the precision. If we look at the corners, if you're looking at this angle, this angle is absolutely perfect. Um, we use levels today. They, they had a different. Uh, they had a, an ancient level that they used as well. But this is just perfect. There, a lot was by the, by the eye. All the, the fragments of stones will go back in to tie the two stones together. As the jig here, but it's full of vegetation underneath, so the most of them has to be removed because it's it's impossible to move 100%. But you move as much as you can and then they will be back with new lime mortar. These are the new cover stones to match the existing. And basically what these do then is these cover, these cover the joints on the drainage stone. So the water then is thrown off onto the drainage stone and runs out on these spouts here. You know, we're noticing little details here today um, where you're looking at the soffit of a, of a window opening and then you suddenly see there's another decorative detail. Because is that, is that so. a lintel, is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So they've, they've put the window here and then they, they've put a big long stone over yeah. the top of it. And then they've this amazing dash, the, yeah. the, the, the hull, yeah. which, which... But Lisa, look, look at the dressing. That dressing is different. Uh, 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 that dressing is different down along here. So I'd say it worked into that dressing. I think that was exposed on, on that. So you think think that they actually wanted to just show a line yeah, just there? Just show show your line. Oh come on! Yeah. You serious? And, and look, look, there <laughs> it is. There, there yeah. it is. There, there. Yeah, look, they, so there, they just yeah. wanted that line, uh, yeah. the, uh, and they did. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Sheila Gig. Now that that was a discovery that was. Um, I think it was by an archaeologist, Martin Fitzpatrick, uh, fairly recently. Uh, to notice this tiny little figure um, that was a part of the decorative um, scheme on, on an OG window. And I, I understand that it's the smallest she in the gig uh, found to date. So there's always something new to be discovered. Everything doesn't quite just need a structural response or an architectural response. There's a kind of a cultural response. There's consideration about how this building is going to be used or visited in the future so that the public get to see and enjoy it and to see it close up. Three wonderful archaeological architectural sites with a great context and they deserve to be better known.
appreciated.